I was sent these Acer USB-C hubs and we're going to compare them so hopefully by the end of this video you will be able to determine which one is the best one for you. So starting with the first one, the 5-in-1. This is a very simple device. It connects to your USB port. Most people call it simply USB but this is actually a USB-A port and it expands into four USB-A ports. So now the reason this is called a 5-in-1 is because it also has an additional USB-C input and this is only for powering your device, your hub. Okay, so this means that it will not charge whatever computer or device you have the USB hub connected to, but it does power these four additional USB-A ports so that you can connect power-hungry devices. For example, if you have a hard disk like this one that I have right here, this is a mechanical hard drive and these are very, usually they are very power-hungry. So if you connect one, your device may complain that the USB hub is not powering it enough. So you would connect the USB-C input here and then you would get the extra or the additional power needed to power this. And you could also connect more than one hard disk this way or more than one device that requires a lot of power. So there's the benefit to this USB hub right here. Okay, it's worth mentioning that there is also a USB-C variant of this same exact hub. So if your computer or device or whatever you need to plug this hub into is only USB-C, then you would look for this exact hub that has a USB-C connection. The other device is this one. This is the 4-in-1. And as opposed to the first one, to the 5-in-1, this one is actually made of aluminum. And instead of four USB-A devices, it expands to only three, but the fourth port is actually a LAN port. Now, another difference is that this one connects via USB-A, but also comes with an adapter so that you can plug it into your USB-C devices. This one does not have a power input, by the way, so you can probably connect one hard disk, a mechanical drive, but you probably can connect more devices to it at the same time because it's going to suck up too much power. So if you need to connect more than one uh, hard drive, then you might be better off with the 5-in-1 uh, for, that, for that particular case. But if you do need the LAN port, then this is definitely a better option. So you only, aside from the LAN port, you not only get the LAN port, but you also get three additional USB-A devices. And again, you have the flexibility to connect via USB-A or USB-C, as opposed to the final one that comes in either a USB-C version or a USB-A version. So as you can see, both devices can be very similar, but at the same time, they can be very different. They're similar in the sense that they expand into more USB-A devices, the final one to four and the four in one to three but the 4-in-1 does include a LAN port, which the 5-in-1 does not, and the 5-in-1 includes a USB-C power input, which the 4-in-1 does not include. So if you need power-hungry devices, this is the way to go. If you need a LAN port and you do not necessarily need power-hungry devices, then this is actually the way to go. So both very good devices in my opinion, and thank you for watching up to this now. I hope this video was helpful and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, God bless.